New Year's can be a stressful time and everybody's thinking about their resolutions. Well, I'm gonna share mine. Hello, my beautiful subscribers. Rasa the Dancer is here. And New Year's, oh my goodness, another New Year. You know, sometimes you're just living your life next thing you know it's new year and you know with the re resolutions i think you you know what i mean sometimes you make them and then you don't really keep them you know it's, it's one of those things you make so many resolutions and not always you end up keeping them but this year i thought what could force me keep my resolutions well i thought if i share my resolutions with you and it's out there and it's in public and it could be real check that's next year well, then I have to keep them and push myself towards it. So, without further ado, let me share with you my New Year's resolutions. Okay, the first one, I have to be honest, is for YouTube channel. I wish uh, that we get to at least 50K by next New Year, okay? Now, we've been slowly climbing for a few years now, and recently it's been doing a little bit better, and I'm trying to increase the quality and introduce many different things, like the podcast and all of the rest. So I am trying to, you know, do the best I can to increase it because I love it so much. So the more energy we're getting, of course, the more excited I am and the more interesting things I can do. So 50 is a number that is really out there, but it's a strong number. I feel good about it. So I thought, let me try and see if I could hit 50 by the next New Year's. The second part that is very important for me as a professional dancer is to make sure that my membership platform on my website, dancewithrasa.com, increases at least by 50%. So what is the membership is we do the online classes and why is it so much importance to me? Because I want to make sure that I have enough time at home to be able to create content, to be able to train myself to do amazing things. At the moment, I still have to travel to many different congresses I have to travel to many different events which I enjoy but it takes all of this time away from my home and from my studio and from many different things so I feel like I'm improving less because I need to be physically working more and also I feel like I can give less to my students so if I could increase my platform by 50% and online classes, then I can do my online classes from home. I can invest more time in my own training, provide more goods for you. So that could be kind of like, just like a big, 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 big thing. So if you have not checked out my membership platform yet, help me out <laughs> New Year's resolution. Be part of my New Year's resolution. Go to my online classes. Okay, this one is a bit funny, but I really, I started recently my podcast called The Rasa Show, and I have many different topics that we're going to be discussing on that podcast, but one of the things I really want this year as a New Year's resolution to get at least one super famous guest, <laughs> somebody that like everybody would know, not just like our salsa bachata dance community, but like most people would know. I would love to have somebody famous. I don't want to say a name just yet but i have few people in mind i know how i'm gonna get it i'm gonna have to sell my soul <laughs> but that is one of the other my new year's resolutions to get a famous guest on the podcast okay this other one is a tricky one but it would be very beneficial for me to also get one paid at least one paid uh, collaboration with somebody with some sort of like a brand or something because um, you know I'm getting better at the YouTube thing and stuff but all of the collaboration that I've been offered so far is usually like an exchange so my my team of people who are helping me out like including Lauren um, she she's on it <laughs> she's on it but it would be cool if I could finally get to a place where I am paid to collaborate rather than just ask and exchange. I mean, it's nice to exchange too, but I would like somebody that I really admire, something that, you know, I feel like it would make an impact. So that would be super cool too. And the final one is nothing to do with my job, which you notice all of these resolutions is for my work because I don't need to lose any weight. I'm, I'm dancing nonstop. I, I live a quite healthy lifestyle. So is to go to Japan. 
And the reason is a resolution because I wanted to go to Japan for such a long time, but I didn't do it because it's very, very difficult to go away for a long time for me and not work. So to Japan, I would like to go for like three weeks minimum, travel around and just not think about work or Instagram or videos and just really enjoy it. It's been a dream of mine. So I'm thinking this year, I'm going to Japan. Thank you guys so much for listening to my New Year's resolutions. Now I know I have to deliver because it's out there. You've heard it. If you'd like to share some of your resolutions, I would love to read them. Please leave a comment. Tell me, what is your New Year's resolution? And guys, most importantly, I really hope you're going to have a good New Year's. I know every New Year we keep saying this, but it is, it is. I love the fact that we acknowledge that it's a new year and it, it puts out, you know, brain and work again. It puts things in perspective. So I really, really wish you all the best. I wish you some clarity. I wish you new aspirations. And I hope that if you have any resolutions, at least one of them will come true. <laughs> Guys, subscribe if you haven't. Let's start New Year's with the bang. I love you all. Kisses. I'll see you in many more videos in New Year.